And hi again, everyone, and welcome to the show. I'm Steve Lloyd-Jones. Grand Valley claiming a 48-17 homecoming victory over Northern Michigan in a game shortened by weather. Now we'll get the reaction of head coach Matt Mitchell tonight and some of the players. You'll also see a special feature on Billy Seiler and some of the homecoming festivities. And our Laker lightning round is with Eric Thompson. That's all straight ahead as GVSU Football Weekly gets started right after this. We got to be physical. Yeah, we got to be physical on both sides of the ball. We got to be physical on special teams. You guys got to go out there and set the tone early in this ball game with the level of physical play that we're going to have on both sides of the ball and special teams. Offense, take care of the football. Okay, take care of the football. Make great decisions in the quarterback position. Backs high and tight. Wideouts high and tight. Okay. But why? Get it done. Okay, get it done for this team. Defense, okay, defense, let's get off the ball up front. Make sure everybody's on the same page, okay? All you guys in white, blue, white, let's get it done, man. Let's get it done again. Grand Valley won the opening toss of the night and deferred to the second half. With the defense forcing a three and out, a Laker offense took over. Brandon Green, who led the offense with four catches, started the night with this carry good for 37 yards. He got a great block. Brandon Green, that looked like a Brandon Green reception down to the 30 yard line. Grand Valley is going to bubble screen. On the drive, Isaiah Grimes would go to Brandon Green, good for 22 yards. On the Lakers' opening drive, they faced a fourth and one, and Grand Valley would get the touchdown as Grimes would find Joey Warner for the one yard completion. It's a touchdown for Grand Valley, and it's Joe Warner. Leading seven to three, quarterback Isaiah Grimes would hit Joe Worth on this 21 yard pass. Mike Rite would carry the ball here, good for 17 yards. Oh, a great balance by Michael Rattay to get down to the 15-yard line. Freshman kicker Joel Skipper would hit this 34-yarder to give the Lakers a 10-3 lead. Into the second quarter with the Lakers up 10-3, and Grand Valley would keep it on the ground. Six straight runs capped off by this 20-yard scamper from Chris Robinson. This special for Chris Robinson. I mean, that was just a gaping, huge gash of a hole on the left side. Grand Valley would build a 17-3 lead as Mike Rattay would take the first carry of the drive and rip off a 28-yard run. Isaiah Grimes, who had a great night, finds Jamie Potts here good for 17 yards and another Laker first down. And Hershey Jackson moves past 1,000 yards in his Laker career with his 28-yard run. Mike Rattay would conclude the drive with an 11-yard run to Pater. After Northern Michigan pulled within 14 points at the end of the first half, the Lakers got the ball back with 56 seconds to work with. Isaiah Grimes would go to the air, 13 yards to Mike Rattay on this pass. Isaiah Grimes would go back to the air and connect with Brandon Green, good for 38 yards, down to the Northern Michigan 15. After the Lakers were backed up on a penalty, Grimes would connect with Mike Rattay for 14 yards, putting the ball at Northern Michigan 6. It was Joel Skipper once again, this time from 22 yards away as time expired, putting the Lakers ahead 27-10 going to the locker room. Stay with us, second half highlights coming up as the Lakers score three touchdowns coming up after the break. This is GBSU Football Weekly. We'll be right back. Even when you're out and about, you're never far from home. The new Xfinity Home Control lets you shut off your lights, adjust your thermostat, and even make sure the repairman got in, all while you're on the go. Simplify your life with the total home control solution. And you can save up to 10% on your annual energy costs. Add Xfinity Home Control for as low as $9.95 a month with no term contract assign. And we'll get you started today with an easy to use equipment pack starting at just $99.95. Call 1-800-XFINITY today. For making cupcakes, and deposits at the same time. For paying your friend back for lunch from your tablet. For 26 paydays triggered with a single tap. For checking your line, then checking your portfolio. For making ATMs and branches appear out of thin air. Simple to use websites, tools, and apps. 
for making your financial life a little bit easier. For about the past seven months, Ellie's been running really high fevers, anywhere from 101 to 105. I really appreciated that when Ellie was going through a lot of her health problems that Dr. Dutler called me personally. I think it's important for parents to know that we really care about these kids just as we would care for our own children. Access to health is really an important part of being a medical home in primary care. So we do allow our patients to uh, make same day appointments whenever possible. They can email me or they can call. Ellie really likes going to see Dr. Dutler. Dad? The doctor. You learn something every single day at Grand Valley State University about who you are and who you can become, about where you've been and where you're going, about your goals and how to accomplish them. At the end of the day, you know what you want from life. Find it within yourself. Find it within Grand Valley State University. Coach Mitch on Friday was telling us, you know, we got to run the ball, we got to be aggressive. So I felt like we went out and executed that today. Well, I think they play right into our strengths. You know, their linemen have very wide splits. They, they run the spread, and that's really what we're, you know, known for is our speed and space and getting on edges, working half a man and just, uh, you know, getting some pass rush. You know, just working on edges is what we do, fly around, make plays. And welcome back to GVSU Football Weekly, presented by Xfinity. I'm Steve Lloyd-Jones. Grand Valley was up at the half 27-10 over Northern Michigan. The Lakers would have a strong third quarter as we take a look at now. The first time Northern Michigan would get the ball in the second half, a passing play where Eric Thompson, the senior defensive back, catches the deflection and returns it 27 yards. It was the 11th career interception for Eric Thompson. One of the best receptions of the night came from Jamie Potts as he dives to haul in this 31 yard pass from Isaiah Grimes down to the Wildcat one. Mike Crete would close the drive as he plunges in from the yard out. With the Lakers leading 34 17, they'd keep it on the ground, and Mike Crete would bust through the line for 32 yards here in this carry. One play later, Ben Hutchins in from 23 yards out as the Lakers were now up 41 to 17. Still in the third, the defense would start to shine as another interception, this time from Reggie Williams as he picks off the pass of Shea Brown right by the Lakers sideline. Right after the Lakers got the ball off the turnover, Isaiah Grimes for 42 yards to Brandon Green down to the Wildcat 15. Grimes would look for his tight end target Joe Wirth and connect with this 15 yard strike for a touchdown. Joel Skipper would add the extra point for the final points of the night for the Lakers. For the first time since 2007, Grand Valley played in a weather shortened game. And with the Lakers up 48 17 with 12.55 to go in the fourth, the game was called due to lightning. Homecoming is a special time, as we'll look at next. The flavor of homecoming at Grand Valley, straight ahead on GVSU Football Weekly. This could change everything. A frost brew liner, cold activated mountains, two stage cold indicators, plus a new double vented wide mouth. This technological masterpiece will revolutionize barbecues, beach parties, and tailgates. It will bring cold refreshment to millions of people this summer and eliminate oppressive heat around the world. Sorry, I got carried away. The world's most refreshing can, only from Coors Light. Does State Farm let me bundle auto, home, and life to save money? Sure. We practically invented bundling. And it all stays with State Farm. So my policies don't go to some bundling center. <laughs> that ships them off to some bundle factory. <laughs> I'm dealing with you and not some bungling, bustling bundle builders. Who have you been working with? Stay with the company you trust. Please contact your West Michigan State Farm agent for more information. Even when you're out and about, you're never far from home. The new Xfinity Home Control lets you shut off your lights, adjust your thermostat, and even make sure the repairman got in, all while you're on the go. 
Simplify your life with the Total Home Control solution. And you can save up to 10% on your annual energy costs. Add Xfinity Home Control for as low as $9.95 a month with no term contract assigned. And we'll get you started today with an easy-to-use equipment pack starting at just $99.95. Call 1-800-XFINITY today. You learn something every single day at Grand Valley State University about who you are and who you can become, about where you've been and where you're going, about your goals and how to accomplish them. At the end of the day, you know what you want from life. Find it within yourself. Find it within Grand Valley State University. That's hail. And it is going. just coming down like you can't believe it. It's a hailstorm here. You know, homecoming is a very special time for the GVSU community, and it all centers around the annual football game between Grand Valley and an opponent. This time, we thought we'd bring you some of the sights and sounds, the flavor of homecoming 2013. Hello, this is Jordan Kaufman here with uh, junior quarterback Keith Parling here to talk about uh, homecoming 2013 for Grand Valley. Uh, tell me a little bit about uh, what you uh, have planned for this year's homecoming. Uh, nothing nothing major, just to come out here uh, tomorrow or Saturday night and hopefully get a win against Northern. Uh, it's going to be fun to see a lot of alumni, a lot of old players here, and uh, I'm sure the fan base will be huge, so we're, we're pretty excited. Homecoming 2018! Homecoming is a great way for all of our alumni to connect. We've got you know, from about every era of Grand Valley football, we've got guys coming back. You know, we're honoring the 73 uh, team that's coming back at halftime of that game. And then uh, we've gotten a lot of phone calls and texts from 2,000 guys, you know, guys that were in the early 2000s, late 2000s that uh, had an opportunity to coach that are going to come back and be a part of this team. Jahan Jones, 2009 team, go GV. <laughs> Good. Uh, any comparisons to uh, previous homecomings to uh, what it was like at Salem? <laughs> no comparison whatsoever. Uh, no, the funny thing at Salem was uh, we seemed to be everyone else's homecoming game because we, <laughs> we didn't win too many games, so everyone tried to schedule us for homecoming, but no, we usually had a pretty huge crowd. It's fun. You know, you develop relationships with guys as coaches, both uh, past alumni and then, then people that have played too in the program, and to see these guys back and be around our current players is a good thing. It just shows the continuity of Grand Valley football. Uh, anything added to the uniform? We got the uh, blue and whites with the white helmets this week. It'll be a good time as well. Uh, yeah, I don't think we've ever wore that combination. So fans should be excited. Alumni will get to see it. I'm sure they'll be excited as well. It's always, um, you know, homecoming is always a good crowd. You know, big, good atmosphere with uh, Grand Valley being as big as it is. You get a lot, of, a lot of people back, and it helps our game day atmosphere. Heath, could you talk to, uh, to us a little bit about the uh, fan base here at homecoming? Uh, it's awesome. Great support year-round, but then uh, especially homecoming weekend, it seems like they come out even stronger. Then you do the rest of the year just because uh, I feel like a lot of alumni like to come back and see what's new on campus. Obviously this year we got stuff like the library and just, just little additions to the stadium and stuff. And uh, it's really exciting to see everyone and all the former players and all the former students. And it's, it's just a great time all around. All right, this is Jordan Kaufman here with uh, Heath Parling talking about 2013 homecoming. Well, our Laker Lightning round this week is with senior defensive back Eric Thompson, who grabbed his 11th career interception in the game against Northern Michigan tonight. Our participant for this week's Laker Lightning round is Eric Thompson. Eric, you ready? Yeah. Player on the team most like you? Nobody. <laughs> First car you ever drove? A Lincoln. Do you have a celebrity crush and who is it? Beyonce. His favorite breakfast food? Eggs, cheese eggs. Do you get up early or sleep in? Early. Hardest hitter on the team? Luther Way. Best singer on the team? Mm, Luther Way. <laughs> The player that has the best dance moves on the team? Chuck Hill. The funniest player on the team? Matt Mosley. Best dresser? Lucas Cozier. Worst dresser? 
<laughs> Devontae Jones. <laughs> Favorite TV show? SpongeBob. Favorite movie? Batman. Favorite thing to do outside football? Sleep. Best thing about playing football at Grand Valley State? Is that I'm playing football. <laughs> All right, and that's this week's participant for Laker Lightning Round. <laughs> Even when you're out and about, you're never far from home. The new Xfinity Home Control lets you shut off your lights, adjust your thermostat, and even make sure the repairman got in, all while you're on the go. Simplify your life with the total home control solution. And you can save up to 10% on your annual energy costs. Add Xfinity Home Control for as low as $9.95 a month with no term contract to sign. And we'll get you started today with an easy-to-use equipment pack starting at just $99.95. Call 1-800-XFINITY today for making cupcakes and deposits at the same time. For paying your friend back for lunch from your tablet. For 26 paydays triggered with a single tap. For checking your line, then checking your portfolio. For making ATMs and branches appear out of thin air. Simple to use websites, tools, and apps. For making your financial life a little bit easier. For about the past seven months, Ellie's been running really high fevers, anywhere from 101 to 105. I really appreciated that when Ellie was going through a lot of her health problems that Dr. Dutler called me personally. I think it's important for parents to know that we really care about these kids just as we would care for our own children. Access to health is really an important part of being a medical home in primary care. So we do allow our patients to uh, make same day appointments whenever possible. They can email me or they can call. Ellie really likes going to see Dr. Dutler. Doctor. Doctor. One of the best things about State Farm is our accessibility. Oh, yeah? You can call us 24-7, get quotes online, start a claim with our smartphone app. You name it, we're here, anytime, anywhere. Any way you want it. That's the way I need it. Any way you want it. All night. All night. Every night. Any way you want it. That's the way I need it. We just had ourselves a little journey moment there. Yep. Any way you want it, that's the way you need it. Please contact your West Michigan State Farm agent today for more information. You learn something every single day at Grand Valley State University about who you are and who you can become, about where you've been and where you're going, about your goals and how to accomplish them. At the end of the day, you know what you want from life. Find it within yourself. Find it within Grand Valley State University. It's going to be a big, big challenge for us. We haven't won a game on the road yet, so I think we need to just keep it going. We told our kids when there was lightning in the area and we met with our administration, they said it wasn't really moving real fast, so we just got to hunker in and be ready. We talked about a couple adjustments we had to make, but other than that, to be honest with you, it was just kind of a waiting game until we heard from uh, the administration regarding um, they were going to suspend the game. Yeah, we want to coach aggressive and uh, play call aggressive, and so instead of settling for the field goal, we felt like we had a good play on the fourth and one, and it was a play action pass. And uh, Joey Warner's becoming a, a guy for us down there in the end zone. We call those play action passes. So, um, you know, I thought, uh, except for a couple plays down there on like the, you know, the two or the one, we were running the ball well in the first drive. And I thought, you know, that's what we needed to do after the Ferris game was get our old line going again. And, it, they, they, and our offensive line looked strong the first drive, and that proved to continue the rest of the game. Yeah, I thought Chris was really hitting it hard. I mean, he was he was really like, not that Mike wasn't, but I really saw Chris was really blasting through the tackles and was punishing tacklers. I mean, he was very physical on his runs. And I think with both the guys, uh, we're getting – through the defensive line pretty easily. And a lot of times before contact was made, it was you know, a good five to 10 yards down the field, which bears out when you look at their averages. I think all three backs averaged close to eight yards a carry. And I think that says something about how we were blocking guys up front. Oh, but Hershey's been, I mean, I, I'm not more proud of a person in our program than Hershey Jackson. He's been very unselfish. He's, you know, he's been asked to do a new role. You, you look at the, the fly sweep to Brandon Green in the first series for 37 yards. Hershey, huge block on that at the point of attack and is um, really doing a lot of unselfish things for his football program. He's doing great, too, academically. He has made a lot of progress as a person since he left Allendale High School. So I was glad he got that, you know, that rush, and I think that may have put us with four guys with over 1,000 yards in their career in our backfield. And uh, everybody on our sideline was excited when Hershey hit that run. You could really tell there was a lot of guys pulling for Hershey on our team. Kirk Spencer's out with an injury. 
Chris Robinson was a little banged up earlier. Mike Rattay, knock on wood, has been healthy the whole, you know, the whole span. So he's um, very dependable. We've had no ball security issues. I think that's the other thing with the wet weather and the hail and, and the way we run the ball. We never put the ball on the ground once. We didn't have one turnover. And um, Mike's uh, our most trusted back when it comes to doing all the little things right. Yeah, he did a pretty good job. I think it was probably a couple throws he wish he had back. But um, you know, I can think of one play specifically where they showed, um, you know, they showed some man pressure, which Ferris had kind of showed. And he, he threw the ball down. Jamie Potts makes a great play, a great play catching a ball on the sideline. And we made a few more plays uh, in man. I also think the other thing, Isaiah did a great job. Uh, we got the ball um, late in the second quarter. And we did a good job kind of getting the ball down the field and giving us a field goal attempt. And Isaiah was running the kill situations and was running the show and showed, um, you know, showed competence running our offense in a two-minute drill. You know, I, I thought Luther Ware and Jordan Kaufman played good. Um, you know, Isaiah Dunning was out, so we had Hunter Sharneski inside playing defensive line with some big guys. He hung in there. DJ Hogan continues to get better every week, and he really is showing up making plays. Uh, obviously, the thing I'm disappointed in was, uh, was our secondary. Uh, we had gave up. Uh, three third and longs that we never should. Um, we, um, you know, we we came out of coverage once, and the DB got in behind us. And the second time, we're in a position to make a play, and we don't, you know, we'll make a play. So, we we read our DBs uh, the riot act at halftime because, uh, you know, with all the ten points that they got at that point in time were all on a secondary, not on our D line or linebackers. And, uh, you know, we've got to, uh, you know, when the ball's in the air, we got to make a few more plays. I would say in the second half, Reggie made a really nice play on the ball. The ball's in the air, but we still had a couple others where, uh, you know, we didn't. So there's a lot of football left to be played in this conference. Um, you know, we're at four and one. Obviously, Saginaw's in the North Division. Saginaw's leading five and zero. Oh. We still have them to play. Michigan Tech's four and one. Uh, Hillsdale's four and one. Ferris is three and two now. There's a lot left to be played. A lot of these teams that I'm mentioning have have each other coming down the stretch the last you know four games. So we got to show up to work, and uh, you know, obviously the big thing for us we got to go on the road here in Northern. Excuse me, at Northwood, and get a win. Stay with us is coming up after the break, a special feature on senior wideout Billy Seiler. You're watching GVSU Football Weekly presented by Xfinity. Even when you're out and about, you're never far from home. The new Xfinity Home Control lets you shut off your lights, adjust your thermostat, and even make sure the repairman got in, all while you're on the go. Simplify your life with the total home control solution. And you can save up to 10% on your annual energy costs. Add Xfinity Home Control for as low as $9.95 a month with no term contract to sign. And we'll get you started today with an easy to use equipment pack starting at just $99.95. Call 1-800-XFINITY today. Staying cool all night requires refreshment. And refreshment means Coors Light. Always brewed down to 34 degrees. With two-stage cold activation and mountains that turn blue. All so you know exactly when your Coors Light is as cold as the Rockies. Let's get the night started. Frost Brewed Coors Light, the night's most refreshing beer. One of the best things about State Farm is our accessibility. Oh, yeah? You can call us 24-7, get quotes online, start a claim with our smartphone app. You name it, we're here anytime, anywhere, any way you want it. That's the way I need it. Any way you want it. All night. All night. Every night. Any way you want it. That's the way I need it. We just had ourselves a little journey moment there. Yep. Any way you want it, that's the way you need it. Please contact your West Michigan State Farm agent today for more information. For about the past seven months, Ellie's been running really high fevers, anywhere from 101 to 105. I really appreciated that when Ellie was going through a lot of her health problems that Dr. Dutler called me personally. I think it's important for parents to know that we really care about these kids just as we would care for our own children. Access to health is really an important part of being a medical home in primary care. So we do allow our patients to uh, make same day appointments whenever possible. They can email me or they can call. Ellie really likes going to see Dr. Dutler. Doctor. Doctor. Big props to the O-line, getting me protected all night and letting us run the ball so we can open up the pass game. Uh, I feel like we got to find a way to do the same thing on the road, though, you know? But it felt good to come home for homecoming and get that win. And welcome back. He's an overlooked part of the offense, but a very important piece of the receiving core. Senior wideout Billy Seiler from Illinois, as we take a look at now. 
We had some depth of running back, so we kind of made his mark on special teams, especially kickoff coverage. And I think it just goes to show you, um, especially on that team, it's not about a position. I think it's just kind of, you, you don't want to let the other guys in the locker room down for the most part. So anything that you can do on the team to help those guys out, uh, you try doing it the best of your ability. And then, again, if you can prove to the coaches that you're willing to uh, put the work in on special teams and really try hard there, they put more trust in you. He definitely did a great job initially with the special teams end of things. Very intelligent kid and a great work ethic and really understands what we're trying to do from a big picture standpoint. you got to be versatile. I mean, if you can only do one thing really well and the rest just kind of average or not so well, it, it, your, uh, your value as a player kind of goes down. So you got to be able to just, you know, work with what uh, the coaches want you to do and just be able to play what position they want you to do and listen to coaching well. Going through all those ups and downs, the winter conditioning, the spring balls, all of that, it, it brings you close together. He really uh, embraces the role that he has, and that's good for, uh, you know, when you have seniors that do those things, and he's learned that from upperclassmen and passes that down, that he's got a role as a Z as a blocker and really, you know, setting the point of attack. And then off the field, um, you know, he's, he's been great for us, just been great in terms of a lot of service projects and done a lot of things for his team. Use your effort that you put on the field into the classroom and apply that to other things. So that's kind of what I did. My approach was that, you know, if I'm going to work this hard on the football field, I'm going to have to work this hard in the classroom because I, I want to be as successful, if not more, in life than I have been on the football field. And that'll bring our show to a close for tonight. Again, the Lakers with the victory over Northern Michigan. And now they'll look ahead and try to tackle the Woodbone offense of Northwood next week on the road. We'll bring you highlights of that game, coaching reaction, as well as thoughts from some of the players. My thanks tonight to Billy Seiler for his time and to Eric Thompson. I'm Steve Lloyd-Jones. Thanks for watching GBSU Football Weekly. Have a great week, everybody. Even when you're out and about, you're never far from home. The new Xfinity Home Control lets you shut off your lights, adjust your thermostat, and even make sure the repairman got in, all while you're on the go. Simplify your life with the total home control solution. And you can save up to 10% on your annual energy costs. Add Xfinity Home Control for as low as $9.95 a month with no term contract assigned. And we'll get you started today with an easy to use equipment pack starting at just $99.95. Call 1-800-XFINITY today for making cupcakes and deposits at the same time. For paying your friend back for lunch from your tablet. For 26 paydays triggered with a single tap. For checking your line, then checking your portfolio. For making ATMs and branches appear out of thin air. Simple to use websites, tools, and apps. For making your financial life a little bit easier. What started as an ordinary piece of aluminum was about to become something extraordinary. We have the technology to make it more refreshing than it's ever been. Bluer, colder, wider, venti -er. It's the ultimate delivery system for cold refreshment. Thanks, scientist. You're welcome, beach guy. The world's most refreshing can only from Coors Light. For about the past seven months, Ellie's been running really high fevers, anywhere from 101 to 105. I really appreciated that when Ellie was going through a lot of her health problems that Dr. Dutler called me personally. I think it's important for parents to know that we really care about these kids just as we would care for our own children. Access to health is really an important part of being a medical home in primary care. So we do allow our patients to uh, make same-day appointments whenever possible. They can email me, or they can call. Ellie really likes going to see Dr. Dutler. Daddy. Doctor. You learn something every single day at Grand Valley State University about who you are and who you can become, about where you've been and where you're going, about your goals and how to accomplish them. At the end of the day, you know what you want from life. Find it within yourself. Find it within Grand Valley State University.